can start your watches, start your engines, and let's just go ahead and um, give ourselves some shoulder openers right here, open close. And just you know, take your arms one over the other. Now let's take some little gaiters, open chest and back. And does anybody have good plans for New Year's Eve? Three, two, one. Arms up, all the way up, and hinge forward. Just shoot them back, open up. Hinge forward, shoot them back, open up. Hinge forward, shoot them back. Three more. And two more. And last one, stay back. Pulse the arms and pulse the hips. For five, four, three, two, one. Now stay here with your hips. Release your arms. Drop your hips and pulse them down for three, two, one. And straighten your leg. Ah, oh, three, two. How are those hamstrings doing? One, three, two, one. Two more times. Three, two, one, and one more time. And then let's just go to some singles of that. So drop your hips, straighten your legs. Bro, how's your hips doing today? I can't really see you, it's very dark right there, but I, I think you're, you're here, so that's good news. Three, two, and one, straighten your legs. Walk your feet wider, hands in front of you, and just lunge side to side, pulling your hips behind your heels. Chest is open, navel points lifted. You just get a little bit of side to side movement here in three, two, one. Come to the right side, hold on to your right ankle, then the right knee, and then open up the right arm for a twist. Right arm stretches all the way up. And then straighten your right leg as best you can. No other movement needed. Walk through the center. Over to the other side, bend your left knee, hold on to the ankle or the foot, open up your left arm twist, and straighten your left leg. Good. Put your hands back to the center. Walk your hands forward, just going to walk over a little bit here. Walk your into a wide-legged downward facing dog, chest towards your thighs. And then keep your arms out, but step your feet back, and you're in a plank. Hold your plank for three, two, one. Hips up for downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, and roll up through your spine. All right, so first exercise is a squat. We'll move into a bent over row. We're gonna go quickly, so our recovery time for this particular set is 10 seconds, so that gives you enough time if you need to switch weights. But we've got um, a squat, a row, a deadlift, and a bicep curl, then we don't need weights. So find a weight that you can accommodate for that. We're going by time today. So a dedicated amount of time. This first set is five zero fifty 50 seconds, and a 10 second recovery between the exercises. All right, won't give you enough time to do much of anything else but shift weights if you need to. We're going to start it in 10 seconds, so maybe your squats, your hands can be on your thighs, by your side, at your shoulders, over your head, at your chin, one weight or no weights at all, in um, five, oh, well, we're going to go for 10 seconds. All right, so feet can be hips width apart with a slight turnout, neutral, closer, or wider. In three, two, let's begin, squat. So just down and up, weight back into the heels, you know, your typical squat, you can do a front squat, I mean, there's so many... I didn't name for you. Um, just keep going. If you want to count your reps, that's fine. Count your reps. But when I say stop, you stop. When I say dip, you dip, you dip. You're 20 seconds in. Keep the weight in your heels like you're sitting down into a chair. All right, you got 20 more seconds to go. So five zero seconds can be a long time or sometimes a short time. Less torso, more hip. So try not to just bow, try to bend at the hip knee angles. You only got five more seconds coming up. In three, two, and one, stand up. All right, pick up your waist for your bent over rows. 
You can have your arms in any direction, uh, palms in any direction. In three, two, we go. So pull in, bend the knees, keep your body forward. Anytime you need to stand up and take a break in your back, that's okay. Squeeze the elbows together or towards each other. Squeeze in and squeeze out. Chest stays open, knees are bent, hips go back. Stay strong, pull the pelvic muscles up. You're halfway through. Good, I'm not counting reps. I should be, but you count them for me. All right, you're almost there in 10 seconds. seconds for deadlifts. Heavy weight. You need to change your weights. Change your weights. In three, two, we go. Down in front of the leg, up to the top. Now you can come up, you can always add a calf raise if you want at the top. You can certainly add upper body moves if you want. I'm keeping it to just the deadlift. So the weights in the heels. Slow and controlled on the way down. When you come up, squeeze your glutes at the top. Good, you're more than halfway through. Soft bend of the knees. Keep it going for the next 10 seconds. You're going in five, four, three, two, and one. Good, last exercise. With weights is a bicep curl. You can go alternating arms. Two arms together, hammer curls, whatever you want. Three, two, we curl. All the way up and down. Okay, my big screen froze, but I can see the view. Keep going. Didn't think you lost me. Try not to have to swing your body, right? Or your weights. Try to control, use your core. Use your muscles. Halfway. Keep it going. Some days these things just feel so heavy to work, don't they? Ten seconds. We're gonna go for no weights on the next exercise. In three, two, one. Put your weights down. Step your feet wide, bend your knees, hands behind your head, elbows out to the side, sink, go side to side. If you want to change this up, you can bring your hands overhead, you can interlace them, you can have your hands sliding down the sides. Whichever it is, try to get the elbow behind the thigh if you're on the same thing that I'm doing and get your sitting bones as low as you can. So you're sitting in a squat the whole time. Side to side. Good, you got 20 seconds remaining. Sit as low as you can. I can't see everybody's lower body. Actually, just me and Michelle. <laughs> but I know you're sitting low. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good, okay. Now we're gonna go into another set, but 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds of recovery. Not the same set. Um, alternating lunges, you can go front back, side to side. You can do a tap back, whatever works for you. All right, pick up your weights. Let's get started. Alternating lunges, 45 seconds in three, two, we go. Step back. Now you can hold the weights, you don't have to hold the weights. But get back far enough that your front knee will stay over the ankle and your back hip is over your knee. The next exercise you may choose to go to a lighter set of weights. You'll have 15 seconds to figure it out whether you want to change the weights or not. And we got 15 seconds remaining of this exercise. Five more seconds. 
for three, two, and one. Good. I am going to go to a lighter set of weights for myself. We're going to come back and do rear flies. So bent over rear flies. In three, two, we go. Arms out, shoulder height. Belly in, pelvic muscles lifted. Shoulder height, head in line with the spine. Get your body as far over as you can. Remember, if you need to stand up, you stand up. Come back into it as soon as you can. The third exercise in this one. Oh my gosh. I did it wrong. Okay. <laughs> no big deal. You got 10 more seconds. The third exercise is a good morning. You got five seconds. We're gonna use no weights for this one. If you want them, feel free. Three, two, and one, stand up. 15 seconds. Your good mornings, your hands can be behind your head, on your thighs if you need the support, out to the side, wherever you want. We just bring our torso parallel to the floor. Ready, set, here we go. Straight back and up. So it's just that torso hinge here, soft bend in the knee, so. Keep your arms out. Again, if you're um, changing your, if you need to be supported more or if you want to be even less supported, more upper back, getting involved there, even out to the side. <coughs> or we can make them goal posts because the dolphins are so good. Okay, I shouldn't say that. Don't jinx them, don't jinx them. Keep it going, 10 seconds. Now the last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go for one heavy weight in three, two, one. Pick up one heavy weight. We're gonna pull the arms all the way overhead, bend the arms, and then bring them down like a crunch. Up and over, and a crunch. All right, one weight, hold it in any direction that feels supportive to you. Ready, set, we go. We've got a minute of this, which is what I should have done with the tip. up and crunch. So not only are we doing a little tricep extension, we're adding a forceful crunch. Yeah, good sign. There you go. That's it. And this is the I'm not worthy exercise. We go more. Don't forget to breathe. I know I can't hear you all, but you can hear me. Use your breath. Back and then straighten a little bit more. You got ten, <clears throat> ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Come to the floor. Take your heavier set of weights. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. So for this one, we're thirty seconds on and thirty seconds off. You can put a weight at your pelvis for the first exercise. Um, or not. Lay on your back. Line up your heels with your sitting bones and then turn your toes slightly out. If you don't want, if you want to have a weight or two but you don't want to use them on your pelvis, it's nice to put them over your head or over your chest. Gives you a little extra added weight. All right, tilt the pelvis. Hips are coming up in three, two, one. Up and down. All the way up, all the way down. Now articulate your spine. We're only doing 30 seconds of this, so get into your best shape of this with the hi Nash, with your weights over your chest or over your hips, upper, mid, lower back. You're already 20 seconds in. The next 10 seconds to go. Three, two. And one. Put the weights down for a moment. We're going to be doing chest press next. You can stay up in your bridge and hold or go up and down. You can have your legs in tabletop. You all know this. Legs can be straight up. All right, arms up wherever you'd like them to be. Um, most of us, I think, are on a flat surface, so keep it right over the center of your chest. We start in three, 
two, and one, go. Down all the way and press up. All the way down and press up. Good. This one goes for six zero seconds. Down and up. So again, if you want to stay in your bridge, go up and down in your bridge. A little burnout time here. Stay with it. All right, you're halfway there. Keep going, breathe in, keep the ribs down. 15 seconds to go. Yeah, that chest starts to burn. Five more seconds from here. Three, two, and one. Weights down, roll them over to the side. Come onto your forearms or straight arms or onto your bench or any other way of doing this. Forearms or straight leg or straight arms. Step your feet back into a plank. You've got 60 seconds. Three, two, now. So in this plank for 60 seconds, you can stay still. If you need to, you can just tap your knees if you're feeling like you're, you know, feeling a little bit of plank ADD. Pull the belly up and in. You can also lift your hips up if you need a little break or bring your knees down if you need a little break. Imagine that I am sitting on your back and you've got to support both me and your center. So no collapsing, please. I say please if you want to fall on the floor. You're halfway there. Halfway there. Stay strong with it. Roll that belly up and in. Think, think happy thoughts. Breathe in and out, 15 more seconds. Keep pushing down to push or to lift up. Stay here, do not stop until I tell you to stop. In three, two, one. Now stop, come down, lift your chest. Nice stretch to the front of the body. And then push to your child's pose, stretch your arms out in front of you. Tuck your toes under, walk your hands to your feet. Forward fold, roll up through your spine. And we start from the top. All right, so we're back up at squats for five zero seconds. All right, so pick up your um, weights if you're using them. If you want to change up your squats, we were in a neutral position, but again, I, I mentioned you could be in a um, close leg position, you can do a wider leg position or just a neutral position. All right, so weight back in your heels. We get started. You can also do cat braces. Yeah, we'll get started in five seconds. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's go. Squat back. Maybe count your reps this time. Keep your torso more upright, Maria. Yeah, that's it. Like you're sitting into a chair. Good job. Any pace that you know that kind of works with you. Uh, oops. Good. And we're 30 seconds in, which means we have 20 seconds to go. Weight back into the heels. Stop yet. Now you get a rest. Bend over rows and necks. So change your weights if you need to. You got five seconds. Don't waste it. Three, two, go. Pull back. Keep your head in line with your spine. My head is up because I'm looking at the cameras at you. But um, try to keep your head in line or tuck your chin into your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together on. Your back. And breathe, good. Just pull the arms 
back behind you like you're rowing a boat. 20 seconds to go. Ten more seconds. Three, and stop. Two, one, and stand up. Deadlifts are next. With weight, no weight, heavy weight, knees bent. You can add your calf raise in three, two, let's go. Down, come all the way up. Going onto your toes, it's fine. Just go down slowly. And like line up your hands, let them just kind of rise right over your shins. Hips go back, chest goes out. Dog comes in, dog goes out. <laughs> Come up at the top, squeeze your glutes up. Five seconds, excuse me. Three, two, one, rest. Bicep curls, choose your weights. We go in three, sorry, that's fast. Two, and we go. Good. Try not to swing your body or your weights. Use your core muscles to help you stay in control. And you got 20 seconds to go. Good work, guys. Ten more seconds coming up from here. Two, one, put them down. No weights needed. Legs separated wide apart. Sit down into your hips. Hands behind or up. Let's go. Side to side. Oh, what are you doing? Bump, it looks like. Stay as if you had um, a piece of glass in front of you and behind you. And you can only go side to side, not forward and back. Yeah, you should go higher arms, bigger arms, bigger levers, harder challenge. It's all good. Just stay seated low. 30 more seconds. You can be out to the sides, be here, be here. Ten seconds. No, twenty seconds. I lie. This is our sixty second deal. Now it's 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. We're going back to the alternating lunges. Rear lunges, front lunges, side lunges, or hold a lunge, whichever you choose. All right, this one's 45 seconds of work with a 15 second recovery. Pick up the weights, most likely heavy. We'll start in about five seconds, alternating sides in three, two, and one. Lunge and stood. So the leg that's in the front, knee is over the hip, uh, knee is over the ankle, back leg, hip is over the knee. Get far back and down as down, far down as you can with your body. Right? Drive through the front heel. Rather than pushing off the back foot, think about lifting up from the front hip. You got 15 more seconds coming up. Ah, you're back. Yeah, you got thrown off. Welcome back. We're doing lunges, Maria. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Maybe change up your weights for your rear delts. Maybe lighter weights or heavy weights, whatever suits you. 
We're going in three, bend over, two, and go. So if your back needs a stretch, you stand up in between. Otherwise, try to stay as parallel to the floor as you can, right? It might not be perfectly parallel, but you're not standing up right either. Two more seconds. Abs are nice and tight. Don't hold your breath. You got three, two, one more, and up. No weights needed for our good movements. Again, longer levers are more challenging in, in a good way, but you know, it's also challenging on your back. So think about where you need to be. Let's start this way. Let's go. Hinge forward, come back up. Long spine. Arms can be on the thighs if you need a little bit more support. Arms can be over your head by your ears if you want a little bit more challenge. You can also hold your arms out to the side or goal post or I'm sure there's something I haven't mentioned that you could do. Your head way. When you do this, try to keep the arms and the ears together. So don't let the arms come down before the ears, right? Move in one segment. 10 more seconds. Good, Maria. Good. Everybody looks good. Three, two, one. Good, now pick up that one heavy weight for the pullover, pullover and crunch. So the arms are softly bent the whole way. Hold your weight however you choose to hold it. Let's go in three, two, one. So we're gonna crunch and pull over one, two. I know everybody loves this exercise on the floor. Well, not everybody. I know I do and Rosemary does. <laughs> and I have other clients that do. I don't know why, it just feels good, I guess. So now we're doing standing. Halfway there. seconds. You know, I love something young, you guys. So we're going to get to do them again. Three, two, one. Good. Come down to the floor. Take your weights with you. I left out one exercise that we're going to do now, and we're going to do it again. All right, so pick up your weight, heavy weight. Sit up tall, and let's go ahead and twist. Here we go. 60 seconds, legs down, legs up, whatever you need, bicycles. You can take your elbow behind you if that feels, again, like something where your body wants to take it today. Or you can just do some of the more traditional movement. Stick with it, you're halfway there. Can you believe that? So fast. So each of our rounds have a little burnout set in it. 15 more seconds. You've got last five, four, three, two, one, and down. All right, on your backs, bridge. Heels in line with sitting bones with a slight turnout, arms up or over your hips. We go in three, two, one, 30 seconds, up and down. All the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. Squeeze, release. Up, feel that outer glute really start to fire up. You got 10 seconds. We go in five, four, three. Now this one's different. Two, one. We're gonna hold it up for the 30 seconds of recovery. Uh-huh. A little more challenge for you. Push through your heels, lift your hips up, feel the 
burn the engagement here. We only have 15 seconds remaining. Right from here, we're going to do our chest press. So I kind of gave you something a little different. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Okay, right into your chest press. I don't know, a lot of things out, guys. Wow, must be like a couple days after Christmas and I have brain fog. All right, so here we are. Chest press for 45 seconds only. We got bonus round last time. Belly in, ribs in, back is either imprinted or you're in a bridge. And you've got 15 seconds to go. So no harm, no foul, five seconds. We'll just take the other set and repeat it twice. Three, two, and one. Sit up. You've got one weight. Back to the twist. We did it a few moments ago. We're doing it again. Lean back in three, two, we go. Side to side. That's it. Remember, you can go behind you with your elbows down if that feels, again, you know, it has to be right for you today. Not what you did yesterday, not what you might do tomorrow, but right now, today. And you're halfway through. Keep it moving. I'm just changing up my movements, show you different things. 15 seconds. <clears throat> nice. Five seconds coming up. In five, four, three, two, one. Put the weight down. All right now, go ahead and grab them. Um, if you don't have, grab a light set of weights. If you don't have them, you're biased what I meant. Um, if you don't have them, don't grab them. But if you have at least, I would say a five pounder. And then let's just do this first exercise with no weights. And then we'll move on to something else. All right, so hands under shoulders, knees under hips, toes tuck under. This is a bird dog, opposite arm leg. And then we switch, right? Good for your whole back side of your body. We're going in five seconds, we're going four, 60 seconds. Three, two, we go. So right arm, left leg, and left arm, right leg. Thumb up to the ceiling, back stays in a long line. No dipping through the belly or through the shoulders, neck. Uh, you can also do this on your belly, by the way. You can stay right flat on your belly and do this. Just a little challenge difference, right? Less balance involved. 30 seconds in, that means you got 30 to go. Bicep by the ear, thumb up to the sky. Squeeze the glutes, stay connected. For the next 20 seconds. Lift up your pelvic floor. We're gonna go on our backs and take those light weights with us in about five seconds coming up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come onto your back. Take your light weights. Same thing on your back that you just did. Bent leg or straight leg. We're gonna go right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. In three, two, we go. Right arm, left arm, uh, left leg, opposite side. Legs can be bent or straight, you choose. What's right for your body? And if you're bending the leg, it's not out of the knee, it's out of the hip. So you keep the knee in the same position the whole time. So don't bend and straighten your leg, just move out of the hip. Halfway there. Good. 
15 seconds. Feel your core stabilizing. Last three, two, and one. Good. All right. Take your hands behind you, fingers in either direction. Lift your hips in the air for a reverse tabletop position. Shoulders back, chest open. In three, two, come up and hold. Pull your knees forward, lift your hips kind of in line with your knees as, as best you can. Mm -hmm. See how far you can lift your hips up. Now, as you get tired, they start to sink down, right? So you gotta keep pushing through your heel of your hands, through your heel of your foot, squeezing your glutes nice and strong. Keep lifting up, 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 up. Yeah, if your head goes back and feels good for you, go for it. Squeeze a little bit tighter, pull the belly in, lift the pelvic floor up. Ah, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. You're good, you've got 20 seconds remaining. Might feel a little shaky, embrace it. Keep it moving, squeeze the booties. You got 10 seconds, you're almost there. And guess what, you don't have to do it again. Five seconds, lift it higher. Four, three, two, and one. Come on down, Ooh, shake it out. And lay back on your belly. Now, you are welcome to it if you have a light enough set of weights to take a weight in your hands. I am not going to do it, it's, it's not great for my back. It doesn't feel good. But if you want to take a weight in your hands, and do your opposite arm leg. And I do suggest a light set of weights. It's a great shoulder movement, by the way, with or without the weight. All right, so arms out in front of you, biceps by your ears, opposite arm leg in. Three, two, we go. Up, down. Oh, I'm on a belly. I'm sorry, we're going to be on our hands and knees. But I was showing for um, other people who need to be on their knee, on their belly. But you can stay on your belly, you can be up on your hands and knees. And again, the weight in the arm might feel good for you, might not. Doesn't feel good to me, so I don't do it. Belly in, lift up. There's nothing wrong with it, it's a great exercise, it just doesn't feel good for me. You're a little bit more than halfway there, because I had you in different positions. to go. You'll get a short break to go onto your back and you will use your weights for that one if it feels okay. Five, four, three, two, and one. Onto your backs, take the light weights with you. Legs in the air, arms in the air, dead bump position, and with or without straight legs or bent legs, here we go. One arm, one leg, one arm, one leg. I like to turn my palms to face each other just like we did on the floor not two seconds ago. <laughs> Opposite arm leg again. Remember, the knee position doesn't change. So don't kick your heel to the floor up or towards your buttocks. Keep it in the same position and work out of your hip. So again, if you're not sure, just check out the screen. Try to move more out of your hip row. Out of your hip rather than bending your knee. Just move the hip out and down, or the leg out and down. Yeah, 10 seconds. You've got three, two, and one. Good, put your weights down. Come back to your hands or your forearms. This is our last exercise of this circuit. However, we'll do some stretching if anybody wants to stay around. All right, so you could be on your toes, uh, on your forearm. You could be on your knees. All right, pick it up where you want it to be. Uh, in three, two, one. Body like a plank of wood on my floor here, on your floor there. Belly in pelvic floor lifted. Look forward, push the earth away, 
lift the knees in and up so your hands, your quadriceps are engaged. If you need a break, a download is a nice break or your knees on the floor is a nice break. But come back into it. Take it, enjoy it, and come back. And don't anticipate, don't judge. Just be, you've only got, what, 10 seconds? Breathe. Hold on to it. Push, 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 push. Breathe in for three, two, and one. Knees down, sit back, child's pose. All right, so now, do a little, a little, little gentle stretching, and then if anybody wants to move a little bit more, we'll move a little bit more. Come to your hands and knees and step your right foot on the outside of your hands. Send your left knee behind your ankle. You can do this standing on a bench or on a ball, and just bring your right foot forward. And let's today just turn the right toes out to the right side and drop a little deeper into the left hip. Put your right hand on your right thigh and just twist your torso open. Relax your shoulders down. Take another breath. Empty the breath. Bring your hands to the floor. And straighten your front leg. Keep it out to the side. It's going to feel different. So your, your hip is open. Your toes are pointing outward. Your knee may or may not straighten. And who cares? It doesn't really matter. Walk your hands as far forward as you can to Release the upper back as well. Good. And then re-bend the knee. Step back and switch legs. Left foot outside of the left hand. Turn the toes out to the side. Bring your right knee behind you. Drop the hip down. Take the left hand on the uh, left inner thigh and twist open to the left side. Keep pressing your hips down. And then release the hands to the floor and straighten your leg with it turned open. Toes up or down. Walk your hands forward. Get the nice stretch through the back. Rebend your front knee. Bring the knees together. Sit on your heels and tuck your toes. Come into downward facing dog so your hips are in the air. Chest is toward your thighs. Bend the right knee, lower the left heel, and look under your left arm. And then do the opposite side. Inhale, come back to your center. Lift up onto both sets of toes. Shift forward into plank. Without bending your arms, just drop your hips down to the floor and stretch the front of your body open. You can do this on your forearms on the floor or use your bench, and then come back to the plank, bring your hips in the air. So we'll do that a couple times. Come forward to your high plank, and then lower the hips to keep the arms and legs straight, or it be on your knees if you need it. Then push back up into your plank, downward facing down. And this time as we come forward one more time, plank, Drop your hips. Once again, bend your knees. Sit back and cross your ankles so that you sit behind your heels. And then sit down on the floor. Good. Let's take, I'll turn the face this way. No, I'll face halfway. Take your right foot and line it up with your right sitting bone. So your left leg is straight and your right leg, you, you can do this right. Now, take your left hand behind you like a kickstand, lift your chest up. Take your right arm up, and on the inside of your right leg, reach towards your left foot, and move your right shoulder a little bit out in front. That may be it. Make sure your foot's not in your inner thigh. You have about a fist between your foot and inner thigh. Take your right arm and swing it in front of your right shin. Some of you will grab both arms behind you. Today it's a twist feels so good to twist. All right, so your right arm is in front of your right shin. Your left hand came behind you. You might grab your shirt or a strap, and then lift your torso up. Twist over to the left side. We'll do some more of this tomorrow morning.
Come back to center. Unbind. Take your right leg on the outside of your left thigh. Keep the left leg straight. Lift your left arm up. Twist on the outside of your right leg and kind of push in and out against each other. So as you're pushing your knee over to the left side, you're pushing your arm over to the, you're kind of pushing out to the right side. The, the right arm behind you gives you the lift. And then inhale, just go over to your left side. Counter the twist and come back to center. Bend your left leg. Take it a fist away from your inner thigh so it's not sitting on the inside of your thigh. Right arm behind you for a kickstand. Lift your chest up. Left arm comes up. Now bring your left arm on the inside of your left thigh. Reach across to the outside of your right foot. So you want to get your shoulder as far in front of the left arm, a left thigh as you can. Then some of you will take your left arm to the outside or out in front of your left shin, bring it behind you, wrap the shoulder back, and then grab the opposite hand or your shirt or a towel and twist over to the right side. Your left hip might be a little elevated, but not too far. You don't want to be leaning on your right side. Big breath in. Come back to the center. Take the left leg on the outside of the right leg. Left arm goes behind you for the um, kickstand, right arm up. Twist out to the left side. Reach up and twist a little deeper. And then come on back to the center. Take both legs out in front of you. Move the flesh from underneath you, stretch your arms up overhead, inhale. Hinge forward, exhale, reach for your toes, your shins, your block, your weights, whatever you've got, the bolster, and just fold your body over, inhale. Now, here's where I'm going to take you guys, if you choose to do it. We're going to take off our shoes and socks. And you're more than welcome to play along with whatever you can. Lift up your torso. We're going to take just a, a few minutes. And we're going to do what we call sun salutation A and sun salutation B. We're going to do a couple rounds of those and close out this session with that. So if you are going to stay, you can keep blocks at the top of your mat. I'll just adjust all the cameras. And we're just going to flow a little bit. So there's ways to modify the flowing, and there's ways to amplify the flowing. But we're going to take you know, five or ten minutes of this. So if you want to sit and breathe, by the way, that is still practicing with us. The breath is inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. A lot of breathing. All right, so if you're going to join me, join me at the top of your mat. And also, we'll, we'll start with half sun salutations. So we for sure can do this. Start with your feet either touching or slightly apart. And if they're slightly apart, you can like have a little heels closer than toes if that feels supportive in your body. So half salutations, everybody can do. Inhale, stretch your arms overhead. Exhale, open your arms, bend your knees. Do a couple of these. Right? Hang your head down towards the floor. Put your hands on the floor, shins or blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press down, rise up. Arms overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Release your arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open swan dive, hands to the floor or the shins or the blocks. Let go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, hands to the heart. Release the arms by your side. Let's do that again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press down, rise up. Exhale, prayer to your heart. Release your arms. This time we'll add on a little bit. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open, fold. 
Now choose to stay with what you need. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step to plank. Shift forward, bring your knees to the floor, lower your chest, chest or chin to the floor. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, push back, sit on your heels. Inhale, lift your knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. So that's a modification. Inhale on your toes, bend your knees, look forward. Take a step to the top of the mat, halfway lift when you get there. Exhale, fold. Keep doing your half salutations if you want them. And bring the arms all the way up. Exhale, bring the hands to prayer, release the arms. Good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, step, and either lower your knees or shift into a push-up halfway down. Inhale, up, and drop your hips forward. So you can do that for Exhale, downward dog. Perfect. Inhale on your toes, bend your knees, look forward, step to the top of your mat, halfway lift when you get there. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press down, rise up, arms up. Exhale, pray the heart, release your arms. This is three. Inhale up. Exhale, open out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, step, push up or knees or skip and go right into your up dog or downward facing dog. Oops, up. Inhale, step forward, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press down, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart, release. Two more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, step, push up or skip that push up. Inhale, upward or skip that and go right to down dog. Exhale, downward dog or add push ups. Inhale, look forward, step up, step up, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press up to rise up. Exhale, prayer to the heart, release the arms by your side. Last one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, step, push up or right to dog. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift up high, look forward, step up, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now from here, bend your knees and sit your weight back to your heels. Bring your arms up, biceps by the ears, chair pose. Beautiful. Inhale, press up. Exhale, prayer to the heart, release the arms. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Try it with me. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, step, push up. Or you skip the push up and you go right to the down dog. Down facing dog. Now, here's the hard part. <laughs> the chair would be great. Step the right foot forward, left foot on its side. Press down, rise up, inhale, warrior one. Yeah. So do it the way we did yesterday. Exhale, hands down, step back through the push-up or not. Downward facing dog, we all meet. Hips in the air. Inhale, step your left foot forward, right foot on its side. Rise up, warrior one. So your back foot is on its side, back toe. So you, we did this yesterday, right? you could do this. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, high to low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. You don't have to worry about the dogs, bro. Well, just try the hips. Inhale on your toes, look forward. Walk, step, float, hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, arms up, chair pose. Exhale, press down, rise up. Hands to your heart, release your arms. Inhale, bend your knees, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, step through push-up. You know you can skip it. I'm not going to say it anymore. Upward dog into downward dog. Right foot steps forward. Left foot turns. Inhale, warrior one. Arms up. Exhale, hands down. Step back through the push-up or not. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. I know it's fast. Building up some heat. Left leg steps forward. Right foot turns. Warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, step back through push-ups. 
inhale, upward dog. We're only going to do one more of these, so hang in there. Inhale on your toes, bend your knees, look forward. Walk, step, float, top of the mat, halfway. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bless up, rise up, hands to prayer. Last time, inhale, arms up, bend the knees. Exhale, fold, hands down, straighten the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, takes you through the push-up into the up dog or the cobra or just back down facing dog. Right leg steps forward, left foot turns. Inhale, warrior one. Also giving a little cardio here. Exhale, step back, high low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot steps, right foot turns, rise up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Let's meet down your facing dog. Exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. We're going to do one little sequence. Breathe in and out. Good. Float your right leg in the air. Open up your right hip. Bend and straighten. Then turn it square. And bring the right knee to your chest, rounding curl. Step your right foot in between your hands. Take a block on the outside of your right foot. Turn your left foot on its side. Line up heel to heel, heel to in. Step for some. Take your left arm up in the air. Good. Now from here, we're going to straighten the front leg and turn the block on its highest height outside your calf. So further back than you think. I can't see your feet, everybody, but I'd like the side on the side. So triangle pose. If your body is collapsing and you don't have your block nearby, I get it, but um, use the block. Look down at your right toes, come all the way up, stand up. Good. Bend your right knee, reach back with your left arm. The knee is in line with the hip towards the right outer side of your pinky side of your foot. This is called warrior two. So you can bend your knee a lot, a little. Some of you obviously will get deeper than others. One more breath. Good, then empty the floor, empty the breath, hands to the floor. Step your feet together, top of the mat, and then exhale, step your right foot back. Take your block now on the outside of your right left foot, turn your right foot on its side, and open up your right arms for that lunge. Stack your shoulders. For those of you who can, the left thigh should be cobbled over the floor. Now take a breath, you're gonna turn this block up higher by its calf, by your calf, and straighten the leg, stack your shoulders. Lift, 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 and energize. Breathe, triangle pose. Tailbone underneath you, shoulders stacked, hips open, feet are firm. One more breath, look down at your toes. Inhale, rise up, and then re-bend your left knee, pull the right arm back. Check out that the left knee doesn't roll into the inside, rather stays towards the pinky side. And just listen for a moment. Sink a little bit lower, this is called warrior two, inhale. Exhale, now straighten your front leg. Turn it, everything faces the right side of your room, long side of your mat, take your hands behind your back, lift your chest, and then forward fold down the middle like we did way back in the beginning of our warm up. Only our legs are straight, we're not going side to side right now. Fold down and breathe. Just shift your weight towards the balls of your feet. Hang your head up and shake out yes and no. And then let your hands come down underneath your shoulders. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna crawl back to the front of the space. Step back to a downward dog. And once again, put your knees onto the floor and swing your legs around in front of you. We're gonna lay down on our backs for a couple of final stretches. So come all the way down. No no judgment how you get there, what it looks like. Keep your knees together. Move your hips to the right and let your knees fall over to the left side. Twist. Open up your right palm. Palm, palm up, thumbs back. Breathe in and out. Good. Just twist. Inhale. 
Inhale, come back to center. Shift your hips left. Let your knees fall over to the right. Inhale, return to the center. Hug your knees up to your chest. Massage your spine. Move in two directions. So just make big circles in one direction. And then reverse that. And hug your knees all the way into your chest. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Stretch your arms over your head. Reach away in two directions. Pull the belly and ribs down. Let your arms come down by your side as the hips splay open, the palms open up. And close your eyes for a few breaths just to let go from all the tingling of the prana moving through your body. Now slow it down. Soften the glutes, the back, the chest, the throat, the thighs, the ankles, the calves, and shins. Arms, the fingers, the toes, the face, and what's inside the space between the two ears. Let go. And for those of you who'd like to stay a little bit longer, of course, I encourage that time to rest yourselves. 